Hi, how are you doing? This is AWS by Doing. I am Madhu Vasudevan from the AWS by Doing team. Welcome to this educational video series, AWS by Doing, wherein you can learn AWS cloud computing by following along with an AWS certified solutions architect. We acknowledge and thank the official AWS documentation material, which we have used to produce this educational video. Although we will try to keep all resources consumed eligible for the free tier, ensuring that you are not charged or minimizing your charges is your responsibility. To minimize charges, remember to delete all created chargeable resources after each session. For more labs, check out the link to our full playlist from the description below. This time, we will walk you through a hands-on lab on create a test RDS MySQL database, create a secret username and password in Secrets Manager, validate the secret credentials stored retrieved from Secrets Manager, install MySQL Workbench and connect to the database, enable rotation for the secret and perform the initial rotation, verify successful secret rotation by Secrets Manager and delete all created resources. Estimated cost for doing this hands-on is no charge as AWS Secrets Manager has a 30-day free trial and RDS MySQL database is free tier eligible. Prerequisite AWS skill level, beginner with general understanding of AWS Secrets Manager concepts. To set up a free tier eligible AWS account and a user with sufficient permissions, check out our video on Create Admin User. Rotating a secret for an AWS database. In this hands-on, you create a secret for an AWS database and configure the secret to rotate on a schedule. You trigger one rotation manually and then confirm that the new version of the secret continues to provide access. To create a MySQL DB instance with Easy Create enabled, Sign in to the AWS Management Console and open the Amazon RDS Console. In the upper right corner of the Amazon RDS Console, Choose the AWS region in which you want to create the DB instance. In the navigation pane, choose Databases. Choose Create Database. And make sure Easy Create is chosen. In Configuration, choose MySQL. For DB instance size, choose Free Tier. For DB instance identifier, enter a name for the DB instance. For master username, enter a name for the master user. To use an automatically generated master password for the DB instance, enable auto generate a password. To enter your master password, disable auto generate a password and then enter the same password in master password and confirm password.
Be sure to remember this password. You need it when you create your secret. Optionally, open View Default Settings for Easy Create. You can examine the default settings used when Easy Create is enabled. If you want to change one or more settings during database creation, choose Standard Create to set them. The Editable After Database Creation column shows which options you can change after database creation. To change a setting with No in that column, use Standard Create. For settings with Yes in that column, you can either use Standard Create or modify the DB instance after it is created to change the setting. Click on Create Database. To view the master database username and password for the DB instance, choose View Credential Details. You can use the username and password that appears to connect to the DB instance as the new master user. You won't be able to view master user password again. If you don't record it, you might have to change it. If you need to change the master user password after the DB instance is available, you can modify the DB instance. Database creation may take up to 20 minutes before the DB instance becomes available. Click on Close. You can click the Refresh icon to check the status periodically. While the RDS MySQL database instance is being installed, let us install MySQL Workbench. This hands-on describes how to install a GUI-based application MySQL Workbench to test the connection. Download the client appropriate to your operating system. MySQL Workbench can be installed using the Windows MSI installer package for Windows operating system users. The standalone download is available at this link. Copy the link. Open a new browser tab. Copy the address, the URL that you just copied and hit enter. From the Select Operating System drop-down, you can choose the operating system In my case, I will choose Microsoft Windows and click on Download. You will be prompted to log in, sign up or begin your download. You can click No Thanks, Just Start My Download for a quick download. To install MySQL Workbench from an account with Administrator or Power User Privileges, right-click the MSI file and select the Install item from the pop-up menu. Or you could just double-click the file. Click on Next. 
In the setup type window, you may choose a complete or custom installation. To use all features of MySQL Workbench, choose the complete option and click install. If all goes well, you should see a successful installation screen. After installing the MySQL Workbench client software, open the MySQL Workbench client to display the Welcome to MySQL Workbench interface. Like so. And you're all set. Back in the RDS console, wait for your database to become available. In the navigation pane, click on Databases. From the list of available databases under RDS Databases, choose your database and then choose Modify. Scroll down to Connectivity, expand Additional Connectivity Configuration and select Publicly Accessible Yes. Scroll down to the backup section. Set the backup retention period to zero days to disable backups. Leave the rest of the settings at the default values and click on Continue. In the Scheduling of Modifications section, Choose Apply Immediately and then click on Modify DB Instance. Click on your database instance. Refresh the page and wait until the Summary section displays Available under Info. Refresh periodically until info under summary shows available. Like so. Scroll down to the connectivity and security section. In the security group section, Choose the default under VPC Security Groups. The console of Amazon EC2 opens in another browser tab and displays the configured security group. Choose Inbound Rules. Click on Edit Inbound Rules. Under Type, choose All Traffic. Under Source, choose Anywhere. And click on Save Rules. Ensure that inbound rules allow all traffic from all sources for this hands-on session. Click on Outbound Rules and ensure that all traffic is enabled for all destinations. To configure this hands-on correctly, use these settings at a minimum. If you require a private VPC, then the Lambda function must be configured to run in that VPC. Next, you must either configure your VPC with a 
private secrets manager endpoint or configure the VPC with public internet access by using a NAT gateway. These configurations allow the Lambda rotation function to access the public secrets manager endpoint. Next, you create a secret in secrets manager and populate the secret with your test details, which include database and the credentials of your master user. To create your secret, open the secrets manager console. Click on services. Click on secrets manager. Ensure that you set your console to the same region as you created the Amazon RDS MySQL database in the previous step. Click on Store a new secret. On the Store a new secret page, in the Select Secret Type section, choose Credentials for RDS database. For username, type admin user to match the name of the master user you previously created. For password, type the same password that you provided for admin user when you created your database. You can check what you typed. For select the encryption key, leave it set to default encryption key. AWS builds your account if you use a custom master key CMK instead of the default CMK. For select which RDS database this secret will access, choose the instance my test database instance you created in the previous step and click on next. In the secret name and description section, for secret name, type my test database master secret. Click on Next. In the Configure Automatic Rotation section, disable rotation for now. And click on Next. In the Review section, verify your details. And then click on Store. Secrets Manager returns to the list of secrets which now includes your new secret, My Test Database Master Secret. To retrieve your secret, in the AWS Secrets Manager console, Navigation pane, click on Secrets, click on your secret, Secrets Manager displays the Secret Details page for your secret. In the Secret Value section, choose Retrieve Secret Value. You can view your secret as either key value pairs or as JSON text structure.
Before you configure your secret to rotate automatically, you should verify you have the correct information in your secret and that you can connect to the database. Open the MySQL Workbench client to display the Welcome to MySQL Workbench interface, like so. In the MySQL connections, choose the plus icon to display Set up new connection. For connection name, enter my test database instance. For the host name, enter the endpoint of the database, such as my test database dot host name dot region dot RDS dot Amazon AWS dot com. You can find the endpoint on the details page for your database. Go to the browser tab displaying the Amazon RDS console. Click on databases. Click on your test database instance. You could close the navigation pane and copy out the endpoint. Back in the MySQL Workbench client, paste the host name. Leave the port at the default value of 3306. In the username field, type the username you created for the database. Click on Test Connection. Enter the database password in the password field. Click on OK. Hopefully you connect successfully. Click on OK. If the MySQL Workbench client fails to connect to the database, you should check the security group attached to the VPC with the database. The default rules in a security group enable all outbound traffic but the rules block all inbound traffic except for the traffic you explicitly allow by defining a rule. If you run your computer on the public internet, then your security group must enable inbound traffic from the internet to the TCP port you configured for your database communication, typically port 3306. If you configure MySQL to use a different TCP port, ensure you update the security rule to match. Click on OK and your new connection to the MyTest database instance is created in the MySQL workbench. Click on it to connect to your RDS MySQL database instance. These are some MySQL database commands you can try to test your RDS MySQL database.
When done testing your RDS MySQL database instance, exit the MySQL Workbench client. After you validate the initial credentials in your secret, you can configure and start your first secret rotation. In the Secrets Manager console, open Navigation pane, click on Secrets, and select My Test Database Master Secret. On the Secret Details page, in the Rotation Configuration section, choose Enable Automatic Rotation. For Select Rotation Interval, choose 30 days. Select Create a new Lambda function to perform rotation. Under Select the secret which will be used to perform this rotation, choose Use this secret. Scroll down, key in a function name like MySQL Rotation Lambda. and click on Save. Stay on the console page with the Rotation is being configured message. This may take a few minutes. Hang in there until the message on top changes to your secret My Test Database Master Secret has been successfully stored and secret rotation is enabled appears on your screen. After you rotate the secret, you can confirm the new credentials in the secret and connect with your database. Open the Secrets Manager console, click on Navigation pane, click on Secrets, click on My Test Database Master Secret, click on Retrieve Secret Value, scroll down and locate the password field. If you successfully rotate the secret, the password should change to something like this instead of the original secret, which was, I think, a password. Now, to access your database, open MySQL Workbench Client and click on the connection My Test Database Instance. Click OK and you are connected. Like so. You could run some commands to review your MySQL RDS database instance. Like so. Thus, you see that Secrets Manager successfully rotated your RDS MySQL database secret password. When you are done testing your database connection, you could close your MySQL Workbench. And now it's cleanup time. Because databases and secrets can incur charges on your AWS bill, you should remove the database instance and the secret you created in this tutorial after you finish experimenting with this hands-on session. For deleting the secret, open the Secrets Manager console,
click on navigation pane click on secrets click on your secret which you want to delete in the actions drop down choose delete secret in the scheduled secret deletion dialog box for enter a waiting period type 7 the minimum value allowed choose scheduled deletion after the number of days in the recovery window elapses secret manager removes the secret permanently in the meantime if you change your mind you could come back to your secret and click on cancel deletion to continue using the secret. To delete the database instance, open the Amazon RDS console. In the navigation pane, choose databases. Select your database. In the Actions drop-down, click on Delete. On the Delete DB Instance Verification page, in the Options section for Create Final Snapshot, choose No. Acknowledge that upon instance deletion, all your resources will be deleted and no longer available. Type delete me in the confirmation field and click on delete. Your database instance will be eventually deleted. Thus we have deleted the chargeable resources that were created during this hands-on session. Congratulations on successful completion of this Secrets Manager hands-on session by AWS by doing. Thanks for following along. Please like this video to encourage us. Share this video with your friends and colleagues. Also, subscribe to this channel AWS by doing and we will update you regularly with our latest and greatest offerings. Write in a comment of what you liked and how we can improve. Again, Check out our playlist for more labs from the link in the description below. Happy cloud computing and we will see you again in the next episode from the AWS by Doing team.